Honestly, the very first memory that I have, like coming back to my old, old house, like my very first house I really grew up in, it's crazy, but it's the memory that when my mom got shot. Um, I mean, obviously that's like tragedy, but that's the first memory that comes to mind. Actually, about to pass it here in a second. So it was a car here, police car here. And they had like somehow put it like right there to where you couldn't get over here. Like it was only like a crime scene. And like I'm like right here, like, let me do it, I wanna see my mom. Did you know at the time what had happened to her? Uh my sister had told me that my that mom has been shot. And you know, me at a young age, like shot, like you thinking the worst. I was like yay high, and she leave me at home by herself just to go get some drugs. Uh, she was addicted, so she didn't know no know no better. Yeah, it was it was crazy. I ran barefoot, shirt off, just in my drawers, <laughs> all the way down, just crying. Like where's my mom? Beat on the door. Where's my mom? And I just ended up going to sleep in there with my grandma. Yeah, it was crazy though. I remember that like it was yesterday. But you know, as a, as a kid, you can't really do much. Mm -hmm. So you, all you can do is just be angry. And then now that you kind of know everything your mom went through, would you say you're very protective of her? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, anything my mom wants, anything that happens, you know, I'm there at, at all times. So yeah, I feel like I'm very protective over now because of everything that's happened. You know, I just want her to live her, the rest of her life, you know, joyful and not having any problems. I grew up in when I was younger. That's our niece. She, they still live there? Yeah, she still does. She's, she's home right now. Can we go talk to her? I don't want to like ambush her though. Yeah, we do the. Um... Cause you done lost your rabbit mind. They were the interview. What interview? They were interview. And they, they say they ain't got to get you on camera, they're going to do audio. If I had to ask you like one word to describe him, what would you say it is? Humble, quiet, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, though. The sweetest, yeah, he really is. How much do you think his family is the reason he's been able to stay as humble as he is? I mean, but, but to watch what he's been through, of course, with his mom and his dad, that's enough to make any kid wants to be bigger, do bigger things, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Go when you don't have. I didn't have it. I couldn't put him in school. You know what I'm saying? We can get you through school, but we wouldn't need help putting you where you're trying to go. Of course, college and you know all that. So, and we was we was always big about grades because we know grades can take you anywhere. Even if he didn't go on a scholarship for his football or something, as long as you got them grades, you do whatever you want to do. What motivates me to be better is just hearing my mom. Just talk to me, telling her, she telling me, all right, son, you you made it, you didn't win it, but come on, man. So just hearing her, talking to her, talking to my sister, my so they're so competitive. They want me to be the best I can be. So they they are the ones that, that drive me and motivate me to be the best T. Higgins, you know, so. What is the best T. Higgins? We don't know yet. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>